Now we're going to make a small change to our map and we need to actually go back to our original because we're going to change the base map for this next part. So we have to do this a little bit in a tricky way because when we made this web app it did it in the same tab as our original map. So we're going to use the back button but don't click the back button until you hold down the command key. By holding down the command key when we hit the back button it opens up a new tab and that's going to be our original map. So now we've got both open. And once you're on your original map, we're going to click on the base map button and we're going to switch to open street map. And this will give us some more labels for things like the rivers and creeks cuz that's what we're going to be hunting for. We do need to save this though, so click on save and save again. We'll come back to our elevation tab here and we need to reload it. So click on the reload button, the circular arrow. It's the going to take us back to this. We just have to click on Save and View. Now we've got our OpenStreetMap version. At this point let's zoom out probably a bunch of times until we can see all of Toronto. And we're looking for this purple line, and it kind of goes up here and along the top on Steeles Avenue. And then down by the airport is the west end of Toronto. And we're looking for just south of the airport, there's this little kind of nose thing that sticks out in Etobicoke. Let's drag that to approximately the middle. And we're going to use the zoom in button to get nice and close because we want to identify exactly right where that boundary is. And so we're looking for Eglinton Avenue West and where we see Etobicoke Creek. And now we're going to go back to our pencil tool and we're going to click right on the end of the most western edge here which is right about there. Now while we've got this line tool open we can still use the zoom tool. So let's zoom out a couple times and we're going to move the map over to the east end. So we don't want to click and let go because that will make a new anchor point. We want to have a keep a straight line. Um, so we're going to click and drag and if you do that kind of quickly you should be safe. So we don't want to have any extra points anchored there. And we're going to drag again following along the lake here until we get to where we see the three purple lines at the uh, just below Petticoat Creek Conservation Area. And this happens to be the Rouge River. So we're going to double click to end this line right at the eastern boundary. And we will get a new profile which is going to look pretty interesting because I'll bet you didn't think Toronto looked like that. And you know what? It doesn't really. This is vertical exaggeration. But still, it allows us to do our next task because at the bottom of all of these kind of valley areas and maybe even up here and up and there and especially down in these lowest ones, we're going to find water. And we want to identify what kind of water is there. So we can again click and drag. Don't click and let go without dragging because you'll start a new line. Whoops. But we want to keep our existing line and we can follow along our line here. Well, there we go. Until we get to the beginning. And just kind of put that in the middle again and let's just zoom in a little bit so we can see our labels. And as you move your mouse through the profile, we will eventually see our little blue dot come into view here. And right at the very beginning, we can see that there is a pretty big dip 
that we come out of. And if we take a look at what's at the very beginning, we can see that it's Etobicoke Creek. So that's going to be our first entry into our table of rivers and creeks. And we're going to record some information. So we want to record the elevation and the distance from our west side here. So the distance is zero kilometers and our elevation is 137.1 meters. And we know that it's Topico Creek, so we'll fill all that in as the first entry. Now those labels are kind of in the way, but if we look for the next kind of dip, we can try and see on the map if there's some kind of water there. And if I look at my blue dot in Centennial Park, I can see that yes, we have found another creek, and this time it's Elmcrest Creek. And the distance is 1.7 kilometers and the elevation 145.6 meters. And we would continue on to the next one, and I'll bet you that one there is going to be 4.3 kilometers, another creek, and if we drag our map following our blue line here, yes indeed we are at our next type of water and that is Mimico Creek. So can, you can do it a couple ways. You can kind of just drag along the blue line here until you see another river and then you can go through your profile here until you identify yes there we go we're right at the bottom of this valley and it is another river and it is the Humber River we're up to river number four and your job is to find at least eight rivers and or creeks that run through Toronto and use this profile to help you locate anytime you see a little kind of V shape check it out see if there's water